I made temporary vows in 2006. So I obviously entered the Adrian Dominican sisters later in life. I had actually raised a daughter who was doing very fine on her own. And in my own discernment as an Adrian Dominican associate, I really prayed on what was next, what did God want me to do next. And what came to me was maybe I needed to be more committed to what the Adrian Dominicans were about. I have to admit I didn't really know what I was stepping into when I said that yes. Uh, and I've been delightfully surprised ever since. And one of the things about being an Adrian Dominican sister, not only am I surrounded with people that are open-minded and um, embrace study like I embrace study, I'm, I'm also freed to be able to do what I'm doing. Never uh, before in my life I have I had the opportunity to not to stop work and to totally study. The program I'm going into is a two-year study program and I hope on the other side what I am able to do is come out with a dissertation that looks at working with people that seem to be lost in our community and don't take advantages advantage of opportunities that are there. Being an Adrian Dominican sister has given me tools and it's given me the freedom to choose this path. And it's not just study, it's the contemplation, it's the community, it is um, that seeking truth. I'm very, yeah, I'm very blessed to be able to be here.